हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस कैंडल स्टॉ बी को रिलेशन दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी एंड को रिलेशन सीरीज पार्ट फाइव आई एम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद जहीर कैंडल स्टॉ बी को रिलेशन इज आल्सो नोन एज कैंडल स्टॉ रैंक को रिलेशन को एफिशेंट इज अ नॉन पैरामीट्रिक मेजर ऑफ एसोसिएशन दैट क्वान्टिफाइज द स्ट्रेंथ एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स it is used when you have ordinal or ranked data which means the data can be ordered but not necessarily measured on a continuous scale candle stock b is a modification of candle stock a and this addresses the issue of tied ranks candle stock b is very similar to spearman's rank correlation in that it is used where some data are not parametric however This test is often employed in preference to Spearman's correlation when there are too many tied ranks in a small data. How candle stock B works? First, ranking the data, we rank the values of both variables independently from smallest to largest, assigning each data point a rank. if there are ties for example multiple data points with the same value we assign the average rank to those tied data points comparing concordant and discordant pairs then we compare pairs of data points between the two variables and count the number of concordant and discordant pairs concordant pairs are where the ranks have the same order in both variables both increase or both decrease discordant pairs pairs where the ranks have opposite orders in the two variables for example increase in one while the other decreases the assumptions of tobi are that the data are non parametric meaning that it makes few assumptions about data compared to parametric methods like pearson's correlation however it does assume that the data points are independent and the ranking of the data is meaningful when to use candle stock b when the data are measured on an ordinal scale or lower scale when the data are not normally distributed when the data have outliers or missing values when the data are paired let's take an example uh, we have a research question is there any relationship between wife's mood and her perceptions regarding husband's love so wife's mood and husband's love perceptions for a wife these both are uh, actually ordinal variables let us see in spss how we can do it we have a file and uh, this file is showing us wife mood and you can see for each particular value there is a rank associated with it these ranks are from smallest to largest for example this uh, 36 has a rank of 6 and similarly 40 has a rank of 8 33 has a rank of 4 and you can see here case number 5 where we have 12.5 and in case 6 we have 5 and you can see there are different particular ranks assigned to each value this 5 uh, case number 5 and this case number 14 these two are having the similar ranks because both have the value of 50 so we have averaged the rank and that average is 12.5 this is called tied rank and let us see in husband's love are there any ranks which are tied can you see any tied rank for example it is 211 815 576 13 1 9.5 you can see this 11 9.5 and 13 9.5 so the other variable husband love also has a tied rank so two tied ranks rather so you can see that th- this is a situation that qualifies for the candle stock b 
and the application in SPSS is very similar to that as that Spearman's or Pearson's correlation. We go to analyze, correlate, bivariate. You can take uh, this rank for wife's mood and for love perception and we check candles toby and this is very similar to pearson and spearman uh, correlations and we just press ok and you can see we have a uh, non-parametric particular output which is candles toby rank mood it has got minus 0.272 correlation but this is non-significant you can see that the uh, p-value is 0.164 and the n is 15 so this ha this is a very weak uh, correlation and it is also non-significant but the more important thing is how we have applied candles to b we have uh, chosen the ranks and then we have applied Toby and this is considered to be more preferable than Spearman's uh, rank correlation. This candles Toby is more efficient and more robust. I hope this was a simple uh, correlation that you must have understood. Till the next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.